Hey, Shalom, Maki. Yeah, Bashima Shai brought a thumb to you in your house. May Yah Bashima Shai continue to bless you and give you what you need in order to stand worthy before Yah Bashima Shai. All praises to Yah Bashima Shai. The bronze of the apostles, the great millstone, and peace and mercy to you. Election, you know the election out there. All right, brothers, man, it's crazy as hell. It's so much stuff going on. Here it is. We over here in the, the brothers that's in the states. You know the sisters that's in the states. We're experiencing a pandemic. You know, everything's shut down, unemployment rate, fucking Esau trying to legalize, you know, pedophilia and everything that's going on in the States right now, man. All right. And then you go to Colombia, you got uh, them Colombians doing the uproar over tax, uh, the, you know, the government opposing higher taxes. And then you go over there to the Middle East and you have... Um, them them Arabs and them the Palestinians and them the Zionists or them damn them rats over there, them 1948ers, um warring with each other on top of a lot of other things that we don't even just know about because it just for some reason the Lord just ain't had it come out yet. But in the midst of all that, look what else is what's going on. Even in Latin, even Latin. <laughs> Señor de piedad, que vienes a iluminar a los que viven en las tinieblas del pecado. You brother have seen that, man. The Heavenly Father is exposing and visiting these fake idols, all these gods that everybody around the world been worshiping. Not just in the United States, but around the world. The Lord is showing them up. Here we come to find out the God of the Bible is the only living God. The Lord is manifesting now on a worldwide scale. Check this next video out. A large number of Indians have thrown the idols of the gods they worshipped on the streets as the numbers of coronavirus infections and deaths skyrocket in the country. Indians expressed their anger at the idols that they worshipped and sacrificed, sacrificed themselves for, but the idols did not protect them from the coronavirus. They pray to the idols because they believe that it could save them from the virus, but they finally discovered that they could not do anything, and hence they destroyed it. The number of daily coronavirus deaths in the Indian in India has been reaching a record number of 3,780, as the total number of infections exceeded 20 million. India's or India's underfunded health system has struggled to cope with the recent wave of COVID, with patients dying in hospital parking lots from lack of oxygen and beds. So, that they you brethren, you seen it, man. The Heavenly Father, look, the scriptures tell you that the Heavenly Father killeth and he make it for life. He bring the light in the darkness. The Heavenly Father, Yahweh by Shemi Shai, do all these things. Isaiah, uh, I believe, 45 and 7. You know? And then, remember when Moses was, the Lord came to Moses to send him to the Egyptians. The Lord told him, don't he make the deaf, the seeing, and the blind? That's in the book of Exodus. These, these, these Arabs, they taught, you seen the one guy, he launched the little idol off of the, the pedestal. He pushed in, launched that mug. All these Arabs are throwing out these idols, figuring out they can't do nothing. Why? Because they're not the living God. All right? So in the midst of all this that's going on on the planet Earth, all this war and commotions and uprisings and and people being fooled and, dece and deceived and people taking a jab and everything of the sort, the Heavenly Father is visiting the idols at the same time, showing you people that they're not fucking real. All right, and then check this out. These goddamn elites of this society that that runs NATO and the EU, the Rockefellers and etc. The you know all them mother them them, them they call themselves the Illuminati, the the elites. Guess what they went and did? It says new twenty five foot tall statue unveiled in New York City, Rockefeller Center, to honor African culture. They put a goddamn another idol up. And you know they're doing it in the power and the worshiping of Satan. You know? Look at that thing. That shit look like a big demon. That's a demon. That thing, that look, man, that thing, that thing, 
that thing don't have no power at all. It's just a fucking statue. Now, if the Heavenly Father want to use it for the left-hand side uh, angels and the energy of the left-hand side, he could do that. But at the end of the day, that's just a fucking statue. But you know they're putting that statue up in, in the worshiping of Satan. Trying to gain more power on the left hand side. Big ugly thing. I guess they're not paying attention to them Arabs. Whoever uh, the elites of the society. They're not paying attention to them Arabs and how the Heavenly Father got them throwing them damn them uh them idols out. You see? Alright, so let me grab this real quick. Genesis chapter 2. Verse 4, because the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, is the living God, and Yahweh Shah is his beloved son. And that's just it. And it's, in the, it's all in the scriptures. This book has shown itself to be real. It's Genesis 2 and 4. It says, these are the generations of the heavens and the earth when they, when they were created. Meaning the word generations uh, should really should be records. Right? Because after, after the first chapter, the Heavenly Father explained how he created everything. The Heavenly Father created everything, not no other idol. And then in the second chapter, it starts off with giving you a recap. It says, these are the generations are the records. Okay? It says, these are the generations of the heavens and of the earth when they were created in the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens. And this is the first time you see the Heavenly Father's name, Yahweh, um, jotted down in the scriptures. All right? When you actually go to the to the uh to the strongs and you go down to the word lord right there you see strongs h3068 which is yahweh you see so the heavenly fathers in that verse it says these are the records or these are the generations or these are the records when the heavenly father created the heavens and the earth the heavenly father created all things not nothing else all right even in the NLT version, it says, this is the account of the creation of the heavens and the earth when the Lord made the earth and the heavens. And then we go on to verse 5. It says, and every plant of the field before it was in the earth and in every herb of the field before it grew. For the Lord God, Yahweh, had caused it to rain upon the earth and there was not a man to till the ground. But there went up a mist from the earth and watered the whole face of the ground. And the Lord God formed man out of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living soul. The Heavenly Father did all of that. And you other nations and all y'all starting to figure out that what you've been worshiping is vanity. So now you're throwing them out. And it's going to continue to, the Lord's going to continue to uh, push all these idols out of the earth as we continue to move forward in his prophecy and his time. Deuteronomy 38 and 32 and 8 says, When the Most High divided the nations, their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds according to the number of the children of Israel. For the Lord portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. You're going to figure out that we have the living God. The Negro, Latino, and Native American man, Seminole Indian man, that make up the 12 tribes. We've had the living God. None of these other nations, you were given over to idols. That was, that was your lot, you know? But the end goal, according to prophecy, Isaiah the second chapter, Micah the fourth chapter, that everybody's going to come under the banner of worshiping the living God. And the nation of Israel is going to be the top of the totem pole ministering the Lord to you other nations. All right? Because you're you, you figuring out you got idols. This Psalms 96 and 4 says, For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is feared above all gods. Our God is above all gods. And even though you, other nations, and whoever else that's creating these so-called gods, it's not a real God. You know? You may call it a God, but the Lord is above it. It says, for all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. You see? So, that's why you see him tossing out those um, idols like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, tossing them motherfuckers out. Matter of fact, I'm gonna look at that again. That one dude, he pushed that motherfucking statue. <laughs> that nigga launched that statue. 
que vienes a iluminar a los que viven en las tinieblas. Yo ass out to you. Yo ass down. You know? Because it ain't real. They figuring it out. We at the end. It's uh, Isaiah 46 and, and 5. It says, To whom will you liken me and make me equal and compare me that we may be like? That's a question from the Heavenly Father. Who are you going to compare to me? That's what he's saying. It says, They lavish gold out of the bag and weigh silver in the balance and hire a goldsmith and he make it fit a God. They fall down. Yea, they worship it. That's all you did. You waste your money. You got your gold out your fucking bag. You weighed your silver. Gave it to the goldsmith. He made it a god. And you bowed down to it like a dummy. It says, they bear him upon shoulders. They carry him and set him in his place. And he standeth from his place. It says, I'm sorry. It says, and he standeth. From his place shall he not remove. Yea, one shall cry unto him. Yet he could not answer. Nor save him out of trouble. And the Lord said, look, you, 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 you stand it up. You do all this stuff for this idol. He going to chill his ass right there and collect dust. You're going to be praying on him and he ain't going to be able to answer you because he's an idol. It says, remember this and show yourselves men. Bring it to again to mind you transgressors. This is for us to, to snap out of worshiping these false ass deities and, 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 and idols, man. Show yourself a man. It's not for us. It says, declare. It says, um. Remember the former things of old, for I am for I am for I am the most high, and there is none else. I am the most high. I am it says I am God, and there is none like me. You see? So the Lord said, Remember, I created the heavens and the earth. You see? I am the God, and there's none like me. And his name is Yahweh, and the son's name is Yahweh Shai. It says, declaring the end from the beginning and from the ancient times. The things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel will stand and I will do all my pleasures. And that's how we know that the Heavenly Father is real. Because what he says come to pass, <laughs> regardless of how you feel about it, it's going to still come to pass. You see? And he said he's going to do his counsel and his pleasure is going to stand. And we see that in the earth. We see his words and everything is standing, man. But they finally discovered that, you know, his words are standing. And he go, everybody going to pretty soon be worshiping Yahweh by Shemel Shai, every entity on this planet. <laughs> so let's play this one more time. A large number of Indians have thrown the idols of the gods they worshipped on the streets as the numbers of coronavirus infections and deaths skyrocket in the country. Indians express their anger at the idols that they worshipped and sacrificed, sacrificed themselves for, but the idols did not protect them from the coronavirus. They pray to the idols because they believe that it could save them from the virus, but they finally discovered that they could not do anything, and hence they destroyed it. The number of daily coronavirus deaths... <laughs> May all praise to Yahweh Shemel Shai that we are Israelites and we're back and he's with us again. Shalom, I keep step. Shalom.